Well, welcome back. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Some severe weather out there, including probably going to be happening soon in the town of Ord right now. Some lightning off in the distance currently. And yeah, we got more storms moving towards town right now. So Ord right now batting down the hatches, 62 degrees. Some thunderstorms out there. Let's get those warnings here really quickly here. This first one for Eastern Loop in Garfield County. This runs until 630. 60 mile an hour wind gusts, half dollar size hail on this warning. As it moves off to the south and east, roughly 45 miles an hour. So a pretty good pace these storms are moving at off to the south and east. And one just below that probably just moved to the Burwell area onto Ord and North Loop beyond that as well. This, another, this next warning in place for northwestern Greeley and Valley counties until 630. This storm moving off to the southeast, roughly 40 miles an hour. 60 mile an hour wind gusts, half dollar size hill, still possible on this storm. So if you're in Ord, North, North Loop, look out. This storm is heading your way and probably going to be waking up to some rumbles of thunder as we head throughout our morning here. And here's the hail core on this one cell. Just went through Burwell not too long ago, on its way down to Ord. Pretty good size hail core on this storm, so be on the lookout for some hail coming your way. Again, half dollar size hail being reported on this, so wouldn't be surprised to see half dollar, maybe even a little bigger hail on some of these storms as well. Here's a bigger look at the picture of what we're dealing with right now. That little thunderstorm complex in the, say, Burwell Ward area down there in Greeley. Another one up in the, near Kippewa County moving on down towards Ainsworth at, at this hour. So we got some storms out there this morning moving off to the south and east right now. Pretty good complex of that, but they should be clearing out later this morning. There is that severe outlook for later today, too. A marshal risk and blanketing our entire viewing area, painting damaging winds, large hail, the threats with the severe weather that we're expecting today. Here's a bigger picture of the satellite radar we're dealing with right now. Those shower storms that we had in the Tri-Cities earlier this morning, those are already out of the state. We have that next complex in the northern half of the state right now. That's going to move out this morning again. We'll see probably sunny skies really in place for this afternoon before another round, another shortwave trough moving into parts of western Nebraska this evening. We'll be expecting more of that. Uh, thunderstorm activity later on today in those areas. Otherwise, right now, do have some fog in places like McCook and Imperial, just a mile of visibility out there right now. Also dealing with that smoke issue, that visible smoke that we've been dealing with from the Canadian wildfires. In place across Nebraska and northern Kansas right now, there is an air quality alert in place until noon today for that smoke that's in the atmosphere right now. Wind speeds out there, mainly out of the east and southeast, anywhere probably 5 to 15 miles an hour, maybe a little bit stronger in some spots up at O'Neill, for example, in other areas where we're seeing those th thunderstorm outflow boundaries take place. Here are those temperatures out there right now this morning, 60 up at Ainsworth and Albion, a little bit warmer, 64 at Beatrice, 68 at Oberlin this morning. So some comfortable temperatures out there. We'll see highs this afternoon, mainly in the 80s, 70s farther north, and even a couple of 90s farther out to our south and west. And then temperatures the next seven days or so will be sticking around in the 80s, at least until the weekend. The coolest day right now. Thursday and Friday. Well, today, of course, too. Thursday and Friday for the most part. But, Trey, as we head into the weekend here, look at some of these temperatures that are incoming for us. A heat wave, 95 on Sunday, Man. 96 on Monday. It's going to be heating up in a big way. I got to ask, so what's it, you know what it's going to be like next Tuesday? Because next Tuesday, that's a big day. We got a birthday, and it's yeah. the guy to my, to my right. Yeah. What, 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 what is it, 25? Not quite. 24. 24. There we go, 24. <laughs> 24 on Tuesday, next Tuesday, yep. 22. I mean, just, just, just some young bucks. <laughs> yeah. Just some young bucks. Just have a little fun, no right? But, uh, but how long are we expected to see those high temperatures where it's mid-90s and up? Uh, well, we're... Like you said, next week, so a long way out yet. We'll yeah. obviously be continuing to track that, as well as that severe weather, too. We'll keep you updated there. True. Yeah, there's a lot of severe weather going on in Nebraska, so if you're just getting your day going, stay safe. Kyle, thanks so much.